Hello, hello. Hope everyone's well. Hopefully when my mic makes it through this fucking video. I am getting a new one, I promise. Um, today I'm going to check out my last current Clan Wars build and it is the Punny, uh, Punisher Humpback Spider. Uh, this is my anti-dog slash push build. Uh, basically if you're going up against a team where you think they have dogs but they could also run things like covers, then you run this. One of the best things about having Punishers as opposed to Reapers is that if you choose this, this is anti-dog, but if I choose this and the other team goes hovers, you know, like Typhoon, Scorpion, stuff like that, then you can still push a lot better with this because you can strip, you know, this. with Reaper you have to cab damage someone, so, you know, where's it? Yeah. With this you would have to shoot some uh, hover, but you'd have to cab them, which would take a while, whereas in this, the Punisher, you can just strip their guns pretty easy, so it's really good. It's this is hands down the best anti-dog build I've ever seen. The damage you get is ridiculous. It'll take a Firebug one-on-one, -on -one. it'll take a Draco one-on-one, -on -one, especially now after the nerfs. And you can push with it, it can tank quite a well. Uh, quite well. Uh, this version has an averter, but my version I have to take it off because I have to run Doppler, but it's even better obviously with the averter. In terms of equipment, you've got two radiators, hot red, uh, a Verta, uh, that's it, that's 15 NG. So two radiators and a Verta. And this is, trust me, this is by far the best anti-dog build I've ever used because the damage you get, once you deal with your fire bug, then you can just, oh, it's, it's once you shoot, if you're shooting at the back of a dog build, it does not take long, five seconds, he's dead. So same thing as usual, I'll go through the build and talk about various stuff. Nope, that's not it. Nice thing about um, I mean, Punishers on stuff such a heavy carbon is that you can go heavy frames, which helps for the dogs obviously. It's just gonna take a while for the two frames. this. As you can see, the Averter is turned to the side, and it's probably the best part of the whole build. So the Averter, because it's turned to the side this way, it attaches to the Punisher underneath. It will This node will attach to the Apollo, and this node will attach to the Cabin. So you get the Generator, the Cabin, and the Punny all getting about a 25% to damage resist just because of this Averter, because it attaches to all three. Which is by far the best part of the whole build. Uh, this is just to fix the firing angle so it doesn't get interrupted by the build. That's a really important thing you got to do when you're building, or I would encourage it, is to fix your firing angles so they don't like obstruct against your own build, so your guns always shoot. Even if you build, even if the guns aren't shooting what they're supposed to do and they're like hitting something else, it's still shooting. It's very important. It's very useful. Hard trucks. Against firebugs, these are absolutely perfect. And because you're in the middle and you have the frames on the outside, they last a lot longer. And they have a crazy, like, the f when you fuse them, they're only 300 kilograms. And you get 600 Jura with 25% flame resist, which is another uh, 150. So 750 durability against firebugs each for 330 kilograms. Pretty absurd. And it's staggered heating, which is also really important. Humpback. As you can see, one node attached to the humpback, another node attached, another node attached to the Apollo. Two radiators, few. Oh, in terms of fusions, I have the humpback for mass and mass, which is the best. Christmas fusion. All of the legs are fused for mass, but they have various other stuff. Big thick pieces. This is just to protect the Apollo from the side, to be honest, and had to protect the um, elbow a bit. Uh, 
Not really looking for that, it was just prepared to spit myself over there. So these armor that's attached to that piece and that piece. I think that's probably attached to this one. Same thing, that's attached to that and that. The um, firing angles for the ponies, they're actually locked by this piece, so it won't clip against this part of the build, because it can get knocked against there. Which means it can fire yeah, all over here and not get interrupted. Good old train plow. And there you are, I'm actually 100 kilograms underweight somewhere. Oh yeah, because I normally put a... I normally switch out the... the Averter by there and put the Doppler here. I'll um, I'll run this in the a PVP match just to show you guys about. If you, if you watch my um Clan Wars videos lately, you'll probably see me use this build quite a bit against teams where we don't really know what we're fighting. I just run this as a basic anti dog because they normally are dog teams, and if they not a dog team and they end up going hovers or spiders then this thing can push very well because you get a damage buff from the punishers and you get a damage buff from the humpbacks and when you have both of those going at the same time it gets rather absurd really quickly Oh, that is fucking suicidal. Averto, I love you. I just gonna take the range. Doing over here. And to be won by lots of things, that's not gonna happen.
mate. Shift your ass. I don't like nine times to work it. Oh, he's doing that. Now that's what I like. Well done. Do one more, actually. Oh, someone wants food. Yeah, me too. Also, for anyone who watches me in PvP, I tend to play it a bit more suicidally. So if I no, do shit in any of these matches, ignore it. I'm not exactly trying too hard here. Because if I play it suicidally in a PvP match, it's actually good to show off how durable the build is. Yes, fuck me, go ahead. I'm fairly certain I will win that fight. Fucking hell, this guy! This guy from last game! It was on damage buff. On Punisher pay it is just I think I had the exact same score last round. That was just deja vu. Anyway, I need to go to the bloody shop. Uh yeah, thanks for watching. Like I said, it's a dedicated anti-dog build, so it will trade very favorably. It I would say it's better at anti-dog than the Reaper Hatback, in my opinion. And it's definitely better against every other build as well. So if we go up against other spiders or others, it will do significantly better than the Reaper just because you can strip them. But against dogs as well, I think this does as good against dogs as a Reaper, if not better. And against everything else, it does significantly better. Because, you know, punnies are OP. Basically. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I will remember to put this on the Exib after this video, because I always forget that. And uh, yeah, have a good day.